frequently asked questions regarding gifts and honoraria involving California state legislators. First, what does the state constitution say about gifts and honoraria for legislators? The California Constitution in Article 4, Section 5 prohibits any honorarium from being paid and it limits gifts being made to state legislators. In addition, Government Code Title IX on Political Reform, Chapter 9.5, dealing with ethics, specifies both of these topics as well, both honorarium and gifts. Next, are honoraria allowed under California's Constitution? Article 4, Section 5b specifies no member of the legislature may accept any honorarium and the legislature shall enact laws that implement this subdivision. So Article 1 of Chapter 9.5 of Title 9 of the Government Code deals with honoraria. It is covered in Sections 89.501 and 89.502. How is an honorarium defined in state law? Government Code Section 89.501a defines an honorarium as any payment made in consideration for any speech given, article published, or attendance in any public or private conference, convention, meeting, social event, meal, or like gathering. What is not an honorarium under state law? In Government Code Section 89.501b, it specifies that an honorarium does not include one, earned income for personal services which are customarily provided in connection with the practice of a bona fide business, trade, or profession, and two, any honorarium which is not used in return to the donor within 30 days or is delivered to the controller as a donation to the state's general fund. Does the honorarium ban apply to all officials? Government Code Section 89502A prohibits any elected state officer or elected officer of a local government agency from accepting any honorarium. Does the honorarium ban apply to candidates for public office? In Section 89502B, it prohibits a candidate for elective state office, judicial office, or local government agency office from accepting any honorarium. Does the honorarium ban apply to public employees? In Government Code Section 89502C, it prohibits any member of a state board or commission, as well as designated employees of a state or local government agency from accepting an honorarium. To whom does the honorarium ban not apply? In Government Code Section 89502D, it specifies that the government code section does not apply to a person in his or her capacity as a judge. What happens if someone violates state law for making or accepting an honorarium? Government code section 89521 provides any person who makes or receives an honorarium in violation of the law is liable in a civil action brought by the FPPC in an amount of up to three times the amount of the unlawful honorarium. Are gifts allowed under the state constitution? Article 4, Section 5C specifies, the legislature shall enact laws that ban or strictly limit the acceptance of a gift by a member of the legislature from any source if the acceptance of the gift might create a conflict of interest. In addition, Article 2 of Chapter 9.5 of Title 9 of the Government Code deals with gifts. These are contained in Sections 89.503 and 89.503.5. Now, how is a gift defined in state law? The word gift is defined in Government Code Section 82028A, and it means any payment that confers a personal benefit on the recipient to the extent that consideration of equal or greater value is not received, and it includes a rebate or a discount in the price of anything of value unless that rebate or discount is made in the regular course of business to members of the public without regard to official status. Which items are not considered a gift under California state law? In Government Code Section 82028, B, it specifies that the term gift does not include the following six items. 
One, informational materials such as books, reports, pamphlets, calendars, or periodicals. Two, gifts which are not used and which within 30 days after receipt are either returned to the donor or delivered to a nonprofit entity that's exempt from taxation without being claimed as a charitable contribution for income tax purposes. <laughs> Three, gifts from an individual's spouse, child, parent, grandparent, grandchild, brother, sister, parent-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, nephew, niece, aunt, uncle, or first cousin, or the spouse of any such person. Four, any campaign contributions required to be reported. Five, any devise or inheritance. And six, personalized plaques and trophies with an individual value of less than $250. What is the gift limit for public officials in this state? Section 8950 through A of the government code prohibits any elected state officer elected officers of a local government agency or other specified individuals from accepting gifts from any single source in any calendar year with a total value of more than $250 that has been adjusted for inflation and is around $600 in 2024. Next, does the gift limitation apply to candidates for public office? Government Code Section 89503B prohibits any candidate for elected state office, for judicial office, or for elective office in a local government agency from accepting gifts from any single source in any calendar year with a total value of more than $250 adjusted for inflation. Does the gift limitation apply to public employees? Government Code Section 89503C prohibits any member of a state board or commission or a designated employee of a state or local government agency from accepting gifts from any single source in any calendar year with a total value of more than $250, an amount that is adjusted for inflation. To whom does the gift limitation in state law not apply? Section 89503D specifies this code section does not apply to a person in his or her capacity as a judge. What is not prohibited under state law's gift limitation? In Government Code Section 89503E, it specifies that this code section does not prohibit or limit one, payments, advances, or reimbursements for travel and related lodging and subsistence that is otherwise permitted or two, wedding gifts and gifts exchanged between individuals on birthdays, holidays, and other similar occasions, provided that the gifts exchanged are not substantially disproportionate in value. And finally, what happens if an individual violates the gift limitation in state law? Government Code Section 89521 provides that any person who makes or receives a gift in violation of the law is liable in a civil action that's brought by the FPPC for an amount of up to three times the amount of the unlawful gift that has been made or received. 